These are detectors from CERN and INFN that are being installed here in the short baseline neutrino program. They were used in Italy uh, in the Gran Sasso underground laboratory looking for neutrinos coming from CERN. When coming here to Fermilab instead, uh, it's been exposed to um, a different neutrino beam, the booster, uh, over a much shorter propagation length. And so in order to be able to um, to reconstruct, to see and reconstruct these events uh, with excellent performance, it needed some refurbishment. Uh, and a year ago in uh, the summer, they were transported from CERN to here, again with a special transport organized by CERN, uh, by truck, barge, ship, and eventually a truck uh, to here, uh, delivered here at the end of July of last year. What it is doing is bringing us uh, a better detector than we've ever had before in this uh, short baseline program that will allow us to do searches for a type of neutrino that's postulated, a fourth type of neutrino, um, with a greater precision than we could with any device we've used before here. They had to design um, custom fixtures to hold the slings in the right position so they would not put stresses on the vessels beyond what the vessels could withstand. And they put in special rigging equipment so that they could adjust how much the thing is, is, is rolled. So they had hydraulic cylinders and readback of all the stresses in the slings. Uh, in addition, for instrumenting how we were gonna place it down in there, the Fermilab alignment department came in and they put alignment points on the top of the vessel and we had live readout as the vessel went down of the position so that we could tell how far off we are from where we wanted to land. In addition, so we, when this goes down, where it lands, there's feet on the bottom that stick down by about six or eight inches below the bottom of the vessel. And those sit inside a recess in the landing point. You can't see those. So we set up a system using Raspberry Pi boards with cameras so that when the foot comes down you can see are you too far to the east, too far to the west, too far to the north, too far to the south, are you actually touching? So we could actually watch the vessel come in and then the, the crane operator from the rigging company was sitting there, he could see from alignment, yeah here's numbers saying you're eight inches off the floor, you're seven inches off the floor, you're an inch west, you're an inch east, you're seven inches to the north. And so he could thread in watching that. And then when he comes down to the final landing point, he can see the foot coming in place and visually see, yes, you're in the, in the right spot or we need to bump it a little bit east, a little bit west. Thank you, Tom.